Hello beautiful people, I am Raj and welcome back to 100 days to ML where I teach you a new machine learning algorithm every day. In today's video, we are going to look about PCA that is principal component analysis. So let's go. Okay guys, let's see what PCA or principal component analysis is. The main use of principal component analysis is to decompose. That is to reduce the number of dimensions in a multivariate data set. PCA will check the variance between independent variables and wherever it finds there is a variance it will decide to keep one among it so the number of dimensions are reduced so let's see how it works to demonstrate functionality of pca i'm going to use our used car sales data frame where the price of the used car is the target variable and factors determining the price are the independent variable first to evaluate and apply cross validation i'm going to use all the 14 columns and apply pca to it after scaling the x variables here we can see the explained variance ratio percentages here as we can see the variance ratio increases drastically after four components right from 49 it goes to 57 then it increases till 100 to the last so we could consider to keep four components that is around 50 percent variance and we will get a decent result however let us apply k fold and plot it to see if we are right to choose number of components as four as you can see here the mean squared error has fallen down drastically from 1.3 to 3.75 for number of components as two and then it reduces further at number of components three then from number of components four there is no change or minimal change so we were right to select number of components as four let us go ahead and apply pca with n components as four and fit it on the scaled x and transform it to get the reduced x so now in our data set we have 304133 rows and four columns for independent or x variables whereas in the original data set we had 304133 rows and 13 columns let me go ahead and apply linear regression to our model first i will fit the model to the original data set and then we will fit it on the reduced data set in the original data set the mean squared error that we have received is 0.75 the reduced data set the mean squared error that we have got is 0.83 which is not bad considering the number of components has reduced the main use of reducing the components is to make the model run faster without compromising heavily on the accuracy score hope you guys like this video please hit the like button below subscribe my channel and press the bell icon below so that you don't miss any further videos that i would be uploading